Hi everyone, and welcome to the uh, IPFS Core Implementations Weekly Sync for Monday the 7th of November 2020. I am Aiken Brain, I will be your host. We are going to play the game of high priority initiatives, other initiatives, Q&A, parking lot, all the usual stuff. It's going to be amazing. Uh, welcome back, Hannah and Alex, to the team. Uh, we're looking forward to all the awesomeness that you're going to bring. Um, cool, so let's get started. The first thing on the agenda, as ever, is, uh, well, a note taker, Adeem, sorry, you're in the top left of my screen. Um, congratulations, but also upcoming and shift releases. So who can tell us about the Go IPFS 0.8 RC? So, uh, yeah, things are, things are hopefully going to be good to go today, is, is the hope. Uh, we're, we've got a couple last things to merge in, uh, in pinning services, which we'll get to in a minute. Um, but everything else for RC1 is good to go. There'll be a few things that make it in between RC1 and the final, but um, should be enough to uh, get people uh, playing around with things and, and making sure that it's, it's working for them. Comes with you know lots of lots of various fixes and such. So so keep on the lookout. Rad. Uh, pinning services is next up. So um, I can give some. Uh, yeah, go ahead. If you okay. Uh, so we had a, some discussions last week about APIs a bit. So we revisited some of it and changed it, we, namely we removed a request ID from inputs and outputs and turned it into an implementation detail between co-IPFS and pinning service. Uh, we might add it in the future or do something else, but it seemed like we could leave it out because we don't need it, so we did. Um, mock service uh, implementation in JS got a CLI interface so you can like spin it up quickly and easily without having to use a node. Uh, it got authentication support now too. And I've updated HTTP client uh, pull requests that we had in place to take into account all the changes that we made to the API and stuff. Uh, I still need to do some integration testing into integrate testing into this. Uh, and I don't know what the last item is. Uh, we added a, we have policy we have a policy to automatically pin uh, MFS to the remote pinning services, but we've still got um, a few details to work out there, so that's not going to be an RC one. Uh, there was also a late entry to the upcoming shit releases of Jess uh, lib P to P zero point thirty. Can you give us a little rundown of that? Uh, yes, so in the p 30 we are basically almost done for the release. We are just uh, finishing some stuff with the types. Uh, I will basically need uh, a review for the core uh, PR. And uh, once that is good to go, I think we'll be able to ship it. Awesome. Uh, local pinning. It's uh, it's good to go. It's good to go. We got to, um, yeah, basically just have to merge the FS repo stuff and do a release of it, and then, and then we are all set. Amazing. FS FS repo changes to make this less miserable coming soon to a binary near you. Uh, uh, I guess Sekio removal is next. I don't know, Jacob, if I got this right, but all of the uh, um, sort of public infrastructure, like bootstrap nodes, DHT boosters, are Sekio's removed from all of them. Uh, nobody has freaked out as of yet. So we're just going to keep not having them there. Uh, and we're planning on turning Sekio off uh, on the preload nodes which are the only ones that still have any Sekio support early next year. I'm not sure how early, but yeah. Yeah, I think it was tentatively January, um, but we'll, we'll resist that early next year. 
and then I think we should be good to. Have we deleted the instances yet? Uh, I don't know. There's... I can check with Michael, but I know they're not on because I okay. just checked the dashboards. All right. Yeah, I'll, I'll ping in the issue because we we haven't heard any screaming, so we can just terminate those. Yeah. If your friends are using older versions of JS IPFS, tell them to upgrade. It's time. Maybe that's why we can't hear the screaming is because they can't connect to the network anymore. Oh, well. Uh, some of these tricky guys have been, I think, just keeping their nodes on. And they're just still, they're still present in the DHT because they've just never turned their nodes off. So it doesn't matter that nobody, <laughs> all the bootstrappers are off. There are no prizes for uptime here. Yeah. All right, next up is uh, JS improves discoverability and connectivity. Uh, there is no update. Um, pass that, bidirectional streaming and streaming errors in the browser. Please review my PR. Uh, this is now like, it's been open for two weeks now. And the only comment I got from Lydell about an hour ago, which is like, hey, maybe we should pump this to next year, which is, you know, disappointing. Um, I mean, practical, sure. Like the pragmatic approach, maybe, but also uh, it would be really nice if uh, I mean Alex, Hannah, Nadine, uh, because we like we want to implement this in Go. So I would really like some input from you guys um, on what guys and girls, sorry, uh, on what I've done and if it's good or if it's bad. I mean, it's probably bad. But if it's not too bad, it would be really helpful. Please do, please do look at my PR. Uh, JavaScript DHT, uh, still um, doing some work on the uh, NAT manager. Uh, I've got some feedback, which is great. I need to implement uh, the feedback and just briefly bring it up to date on how it interacts with all the changes in uh, lib P2P 0.30. Cool. Uh, that is the end of the high priority initiatives. Moving on to the other initiatives. Uh, no update on file add progress and web UI. Uh, TypeScript integration. What's going on? Um, I have some updates there if I find my notes. Oh yeah, so bunch of back and forth on lib P2P interfaces uh, package or uh, library. Uh, Washco was doing most of the changes. I tried to help with some stuff. Oh yeah, I guess that's the only thing on my end. Yeah, so as Irakli said, uh, the LPTP interfaces PR uh, with the type devs and also TypeScript interfaces for the transport and stream muxer and also crypto should be now ready to go. Thanks to further reviews to Irakli and Google. I think we finally got to a good result on it. And uh, the LPTP core PR uh, which is the main blocker now for LIPTP 0.30 needs reviews. So uh, Iraqi and Doug, if you could check it out, it would be great. I already tested it with uh, Lotstar, one of uh, uh, the, our projects, uh, upstream projects that uses TypeScript and uh, the build is it, good. So I think uh, it will not take that long to get it uh, approved and that's it. I guess I did some work on a uh, bit swap as well. I forgot to mention. Uh, I, uh, Hugo did the review and I had to address some of the stuff. I don't remember where it said now. I think maybe I have to do more changes before it can go in. Cool. Uh, Badger 2 support, no update. Not traversal, no update. Uh, Unix FSV 1.5 and Guy PFS. Uh, the last comment on there, well, is mine, but prior to that, uh, the contributor who's trying to claim the bounty on this and do the work, do the work and then claim the bounty is asking for a bit of help uh, with Go and how he can uh, add a field to the uh, object that he's passing around. If someone with a bit of Go smarts could just drop a reply in there that would probably unblock him and help help him get up moving along, please. Thank you. Uh, next up is GoIPFS GC improvements. 
Yeah, design has been made available to a limited audience waiting for some focused feedback before we uh, open it up to, to a larger audience unless we think that's appropriate at this point, but just wanted to get the sort of uh, initial sanity check on, on that before we have everybody jump in. Um, so that's, that'll be, that'll probably take a, at least a few days to get some, some feedback on. Um, and then we'll go from there. Uh, cool. That's it for the uh, uh, other initiatives, uh, design review proposals. Has anybody got anything they'd like to propose for a design review? Stick it in the notes if you do. Blockers and asks. Questions. There's a question from Hannah. Uh, what uh, would love information on what Guide Profess 1.5 is? Oops, Unix FS. Yes, so, so it's adding metadata. So uh, modification times uh, and modes fundamentally. Got it. But within the uh, existing DAG protobuf kind of mm -hmm. like setup and no IPLD. Unix FS V2 madness. No, exactly. Oh. That's why it's 1.5 and not V2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for sure. I still might be able to jump in and try to unblock that person because I know Unix FS probably well enough to vaguely help them, so, or at least take a shot at it. Cool. I mean, I think they just need some help literally writing Go. That's all. It's just a language. Um, but uh, yeah, please, please do. Are we ready to remove the do we want to leave the sec IO thing on here until uh, like for next time until we're until the preload nodes have them off or are we, are we calling this one done? Let's just take it off. Cool. Any other questions? Amazing. Anything for the parking lot? Anything that doesn't fit into the other categories? We are burning through this meeting. This is amazing. We're gonna have so much time back at the end of it. Oh, Hannah, hand up. I have a, I have a random like status question, which is, did we ever uh, finish off the like providing the the new providing system that was like vaguely in progress when I left? Like, like they would take providing out of BitSwap, or is that still? Nope. Uh, Got it. Cool. So, so. No, but since we've gone through that, um, we've realized we need to take sort of like a different approach to how we do the providing because there's just too much stuff. And so, uh, yeah, Patar and I have been thinking about how we want to do this. It's probably going to tie into some of this, like, hey, we're refactoring out some of the guts around the DAG service and we're providing and finding the peers are for things. And so I think we're gonna use some, we're gonna use some of the opportunities around importing Go IPLD Prime to like see how we can do this better. Got it, cool. All right, we can definitely discuss how the context is meeting, so. Nice, any final items for the parking lot? Okay, I think we're done. This is amazing. Thank you all for coming. Uh, please do fill in your weekly updates. Um, it's very useful to read them. Uh, thanks a lot. This has been the uh, Archiverse Confrontations Weekly Sync for Monday, the 7th of December. We all get 12 minutes back. Amazing. It's a Christmas miracle. See you next week. Bye.